G'day everyone, so today, definitely a different episode. I've managed to sneak into the back of Tomo tyres. G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. So today I'm gonna to do something very useful for you guys. We're gonna talk tires. So I'm down at Tomo Tires today and he's let me behind the scenes of what they do here and I'm going to help you and give you a lot of information about choosing the right tire for your car, whether it's a four wheel drive, highway car, tourer, mudslinger, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna try and give you guys as much information as possible in the short time that I'm here. Let's get this. So, First question is, choosing the right tyres. Got a set of all terrains here, just as a bit of backdrop for what we're talking about is, um, you need to ask yourself the first question when you're buying tyres is, what am I using them for? And you need to ask yourself, are you using them for hot four driving, mud slinging? Are you using them for highway driving? So sometimes choosing and starting out, trying to pick your tyres first, is a big question you need to ask yourself. What am I doing with it? And it goes for any sort of car that you're trying to um, look after yourself on the road. They're the main thing that stops your car. They're the main thing that protects your car, protects everyone in the car. So choosing the right tyre for your applications of what you're doing is very, very important. Right, our next question is what size of tyre? So whether it's your smaller tyres or your bigger tyres like these ones. So you need to ask yourself a couple of questions of what size tyre is best for your car. So here's a couple of things that you should put in your head before you go purchase your next set of tyres. So I've written a bit of a list. So bigger isn't always better when you're, go when you're going to buy new tyres because what you need to think about is if you're going long distance or remote, is that tyre shop going to stock your tyre? and your size. Are you gonna be sitting on the side of the road for a long period of time waiting for a truck to come and tow you or that place where you are in the middle of nowhere have your tire? So having a common size tire is actually probably a good thing to do. So having your big 33s or you know, you spend big dollars on big tires or whatever, if you can't get them in remote places, then what's the point of putting them on your car? So that's something you gotta think about is when you're going out middle of nowhere, are you gonna be able to get tires? Second thing is, is it gonna be able to fit underneath the car? That's something I didn't even think of as well. Is your spare tire gonna fit under the car? Because actually one of my friends has bigger tires and he went for a tow bar and he can't fit his tow, he can't fit his tire underneath his tow bar because it was a Heyman Reese um, tow bar and he can't fit his big tires underneath. So that's something else you gotta think of. Will you be able to fit? your tire underneath your car. If you've got a spare wheel carrier, well then that's good for you. <laughs> that's probably a better way to do it, but it's just some things that you need to think about when you're purchasing your tires. And another thing that no one really talks about is tire load rating. Tire load rating. Now, if you're, whatever tire you pick, you need to ask the person who's fitting it or wherever you're buying from, what is the load rating for your tire? For the simple fact of, you could be putting tires on your car that aren't gonna handle you load, especially if you've got a GVM upgrade, you need to make sure that your tires are suited for your GVM upgrade. Because if you're carrying more weight in your car, well then, and you have a tire that's not suited to carry that load, you could be doing damage to your car, drivetrain, list goes on. So that's something else to think about, guys. Out with the old, in with the new. I'm pretty stoked with these. They look really good. So what are you doing? I'm um, talking your wheel nuts up to 120 Newton meters. So that way it locks the nuts in place, make sure nothing, there's no movement in the wheel or anything like that. Making sure they're nice and safe on the road no matter what you're doing. 
So as long as you can lock them up, the bigger the tires, say if you're putting about 22 mil nuts on there, you want to put about 140 newton meters torque on it. Anything smaller like a hatchback, something like that, you're looking at about 1, 1, 10 newton meters. But as long as we always do that after every tire, make sure they're nice and torqued up. After we rattle them on, we know that the like, person who owns the car is going to get around safely. There's not going to be any dramas afterwards or anything like that. So, so we'll just make sure that they're nice and safe on the road. They're not going nowhere now, so it'll be sweet as. And that's from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've got Jesse here to give you guys some really good tips on tyre maintenance. So that's something I wanted to definitely cover today in today's episode. So tell us all about tyre maintenance, mate. Alright mate, what you want to look for mainly is like any sort of like uneven wear or like bumps, splits in the tyres, cracks, anything like that. You just yep. want to make sure that there's still a decent bit of tread on it as well as obviously like tyre wear bars. You yep. always want to follow that. If it's the tyres level with the tyre bar, then you're probably due for a change because yep. otherwise you can get in trouble from the police or anyone that pulls you over for like it being too low and stuff yep. like that. Plus dangerous in the wet and whatnot, you want to have like all safety under your four wheels as possible so like you're not veering off having an accident, anything like that. So yep. just always like run your hands over it like every couple of months, check your pressures for like say like passenger like, uh, hatchbacks, you want to run about 36 pounds. Yep. And, uh, Standard passenger tires like your Commodores or anything like that, unless they're low profiles, you want to run about 38 pound, and then low profiles, four wheel drives, you want to run about 40 pound, and then like commercial stuff like that, 50 and upwards, anything that's carrying a load on it, sort yep. of thing. But yeah, you want to run your hand. If you feel any like unevenness in the tire, say if it feels like the tire is shifting to one side or there's some bubbles and stuff, I'd probably recommend not driving it and like just getting someone to either come and look at it or getting the tire off and getting it to someone like us as soon as possible. Yep. Otherwise, it could be separated, there could be like major damage to the point you, it may blow out on you and you may have a serious accident from it. And that's the last thing you want, eh? Yeah, that's right. Um, rotating your tyres, how yeah. often? Uh, I'd say probably every 10,000 Ks. 10,000 like Ks? Roughly, just like depending on how they're wearing, sometimes you can get more out of them, but that's yep. what we usually recommend people to do. We'll also obviously check them once they come in and we'll like, let them know like whether they are due or not, but it's always yep. best to come in around about that time just to make sure you have And wheel alignments, mate, how often should you get them done? Well, That's kind of a big question, isn't it? I, well, rule of thumb for me, I usually try and recommend that people get a set of four brand new tyres to always tuck in a wheel alignment because yep. it may not be bad at the time, but it can like get worse over time. And if you're putting new tyres on, you don't want to be back in like yeah. a month or so like that and spending more money for the tyre that you just paid for. So yeah, 100%. 100%. That's what I always recommend. Plus, if you feel any like car, the car pulling or a shutter or anything like that, again, it's always best to just sort of get it checked and like not risk your safety over anything else. Yep. But yeah. Awesome. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies, all the time stand on it Right everyone, I have got the new tires on I am pretty stoked how they are have actually changed the look of the car. It's amazing what a new set of tires and a new set of rims will do to your car to make it look Mickey Mouse. And if you want to know more about tires and picking the right tire for your car, go see Adam down at Tomo Tires. He is very knowledgeable in what he does and I'm pretty stoked with these bad boys. I'm keen to put them on the tracks and um, I'm actually just finished the service of the car. So now I am literally track ready and I'm so keen. All I need to do now is just fix up my 12 volt system. I just need to wire it all in, hardwire it, and at least one one light at the back, and so I can run a fridge. That's all I'm pretty running at the moment. No other camp light, so that's all right.